Hello everyone. Our trip to Manitoba was completed and we are on our way home. We decided to stop at the Delta Bessboro, which is located in Saskatoon, Saskatchewan. The hotel is located in downtown Saskatoon and it is a historic hotel which opened in 1935 and was built by the Canadian National Railways. It has 10 floors and is considered one of Canada's Grand Railway Hotels, which are located across the country. Construction was actually completed in 1932, but due to the Great Depression, the Best Borough did not open until 1935. The hotel is beside the South Saskatchewan River, which has two River Valley parks, the Kiwanis on the hotel side and the Cosmopolitan on the opposite. We decided to check these two parks out for ourselves and also give you an idea of the area around the hotel. We shot this video in June of 2022 and at that time COVID restrictions were easing and the hotel industry was trying to get back on its feet so we were able to get a room here at a reasonable rate. The hotel is named after the Earl of Bessborough who was the 14th Governor General of Canada. It's also built in the Chateau-esque style and has 20,000 square meters of waterfront garden, which is large enough to host many large events. As we walked around, we could see the people were enjoying the day, although the geese were a little annoyed. The bridge that we're taking is the University Bridge, which will get us over to the Cosmopolitan Park. Along Saskatchewan Crescent, there were many fine old homes, which helped with the historical feel of the area. It was fun to walk around and see so many people enjoying the day. To get back to the hotel side, we took this old truss bridge, which is appropriately called the traffic bridge. As we were crossing the bridge, we seen what appeared to be two goose couples taking care of what looked like a lot of kids. Probably the most goslings I've ever seen in one group. When we got back across, we decided it was time to find a place to eat. A search around downtown Saskatoon commenced, but not before finding some interesting shops. Unfortunately, at this point, I was so hungry that I forgot to film inside, but I can tell you the food was great. After a great Indian meal, we decided to go back and explore the hotel. As I indicated earlier, we stayed in June of this year, and from what I could tell, things were still pretty quiet business-wise, still recovering from COVID. You will find this floor above the main lobby. It gives an idea of the grandness of these hotels that the railway companies were trying to convey to the public. I could not find any information on this room outside of it having an almost renaissance feel. This whiskey comes from a local distillery just outside of Saskatoon that they're currently offering in their hotel. These were older menus that were on display, but from what time I'm not sure. Given that the champagne cocktail was four dollars, I'm assuming it was a while back. We're heading up to our room, but I wanted to show you these grand old elevator doors. And this old mailbox as well. These mailboxes are a bit of an icon associated with these old railway hotels. This was the next morning and the room was finally in a condition that I could give you an idea of what one type of room was like here. As you can see, the room we had here was fairly basic and nothing really out of the ordinary. 
I guess you could say that we're the kind of people where the room is not important, as long as it has a comfortable bed. Packed up, we went down to enjoy our breakfast. We were just there for one night, but if the rates are reasonable, I would certainly come back. As some of you might know from watching my channel, I have an interest in history and historical buildings, so this place had a certain appeal to me. I believe I ordered the apple cinnamon french toast. It was great, but there was a lot of sugar in there, so I would avoid it if you have any intolerances to a lot of sweets. I hope you enjoyed this tour of this old historic hotel. Thanks very much for coming over.